So you're going to design a website, but what content should you actually put on the page? What pages should you have on the website on today's episode? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Ron Sego. Welcome back to the free web design course. So on a previous episode, we talked a little bit about wireframing and how to sketch out the content on your page, but we didn't touch upon a question we should actually ask yourself before you go ahead and wireframe and design your website, which is what kind of a content we should even put there? What pages should we have on the website? And so today I want to talk about that. I want to share the process that I use when I'm working with my clients to build a website for them. So the first step, is this first we need to understand what the website goals are because everything that's on the page everything that's on the website needs to help contribute for us to achieve the goals of the website now usually a website will have some kind of a major goal okay something that we're going to track and something that can be like increase generating sales getting leads or some kind of a high level um goal like that show the new product that we have that's kind of a high level goal and we learn about these goals by interviewing our clients and sitting with them and trying to understand why they're updating or building their website and what their business needs from this website however that's kind of the high level goal there's always other goals which is which might be something like you know getting trust you know building trust for our brand or um, getting getting to hire team members so there's all always other tasks and so that leads to having usually a lot of types of content in the website so while we sit and brainstorm and try to understand what the first goals are primary goals and secondary goals of the website that's the first step then we take this kind of brainstorm and that serves as kind of a compass to know that everything that we're going to put on the website is actually going to serve these goals and the second step when moving away from that is to start to list and brainstorm all the types of content that's going to help us support these goals so for example if one of the primary goals is to sell a new product then obviously we need to explain what that product is what does it include um, how is it better than competition all these and we're just brainstorming this and listing them out in kind of a list okay if we're gonna build trust maybe we want to talk about the management maybe we want to talk about the history of the company maybe we want to share who's on the team so again we're just listing out a lot of ideas and that's a process that I'm doing together with the clients so initially when I go into the meeting I would come with kind of ideas that I have on things that I think are pretty obvious that they should have on their website but I'm I'm putting this out as a suggestion and then I'm brainstorming it together with them and based on the goals that they suggested should we have this or what else should we have or should we not have there are other types of content such as maybe blog or newsletter or news section in the website that are really um, they, they're kind of dependent on how the company wants to use the website and what kind of marketing are they doing so all these things need to be considered and we're compiling this list into a big list of content types that should be on the website so that's basically step number two Step number three is starting to organize this content in a way that makes sense. So I want to share with you here. This is an example from um, a, a client work that I did recently. And here we basically took all the lists of the bullet points that we have and we kind of broke it down into pages based on how it makes sense to you know structure these these topics together there's actually um, a very useful useful um, exercise that you can do with your clients that is called card sorting and basically what that means is you basically take a lot of sticky notes and you write all these bullet points that you wrote down in um, step number two together and then you're starting to arrange them and see what kind of content would go together so obviously when you have something like team and vision and you know the story of the company usually you can put them all together inside of a page that's going to be the about page if you have multiple product then you can put them all together under a page that is called product so this is kind of a, a playful exercise that you can do together with your clients to ge um, generate what we call actually a sitemap and this is kind of a basic um, layout as you can see here that you can do with 
any you don't even have to be a, use a design software here you can see I'm using keynote which is the, the presentation software that I use when I'm working with my clients but this is kind of an overview of the structure of the website and by the way this is actually how Google also sees your website because they're actually seeing what kind of pages you have and what section you have in your website and so having this kind of a logic and a sitemap is a good idea to have before you're starting to break it down into actual design okay because this is basically the logic and the architecture of the website now when we're talking about architecture it's important to to understand what that means okay so think about architecture in your own life right there's everybody lives in a house but there's many different types of structure for houses right there's a house that's you know uh, completely made out of glass and there's a house that's you know completely is made out of stone each of them they they serve the same function right but each of them feels differently one has a very transparent feeling to it there's a lot of light coming in other one is maybe a little bit more safe and strong so each different construction type conveys a different message and feels differently when you live in it and the same would be with a website right so once we just make the these structural decision such as we're going to break this out down into multiple pages or maybe we want to just put everything in a one long page it will actually just give a different a different feeling for the people who are experiencing the website nowadays it's pretty pretty um, popular to put everything in one page which is called a one pager basically because there's only one page in the website and have people scroll down you know through the website but you have to think whether this architecture of putting everything in one page makes sense if you have too much information that might not feel you know very comfortable to navigate through so you have to think about what would be the right structure and how navigating this website will actually feel once all the content is there and again you can only make these decisions after you've went through the this three-step process and you know what you want to share on your website and what is the what is the content and does it make sense to put it all together or break it down into multiple pages so go through the process figure out the goals list out all the content types that will support achieving these goals and then do the card sorting to break it down into a structure and then go ahead and start wireframing these pages I hope that was helpful. Make sure that you're subscribed to get the full, you know, playlist of videos for the free web design course. I'll see you on the next video.